Okay, so if you are still stuck on the 8.1.4 lesson, I'm going to do a few more problems on factoring completely. Um, so remember, what that means is before we start doing our box, we are going to look to see if there's anything that we can actually take out. So we're going to go ahead and look at 5x squared plus 15x minus 20. So when you look at any binomial, trinomial, whatever you're factoring, step one is can I take out a greatest common factor? And we want to look at all three terms. What they all have in common is a 5. So if I take out a 5, then you can think of it as 5 times what would give us 5x squared. I would have x squared left. 5 times what would give us 15x? It would be 3x. And 5 times what would give us negative 20 would be negative 4. All right, so from there, you're going to take that trinomial and place it in the box. So the first term, x squared, goes in the first box. The last term, negative 4, goes in the last box. And then you can make your diamond. The product of the diagonal would be negative 4x squared, and you take your middle term, which is 3x, and place it on the bottom. So we need two terms that multiply to negative 4x squared, but add to 3x. So 2 and 2 won't work. We know one of them has to be negative, so if we take 4x and negative x, that would give us 3x, and 4x times negative x gives us negative 4x squared. So you take those two factors, place them in the box like normal, and then I find the GCF of x squared and negative x. I get x. x times x is x squared. x times 4 is 4x. x times negative 1 is negative x. And 4 times negative 1 is negative 4. So when you write your answer, we'll have x plus 4. We will also have x minus 1, but what's new now is you have to place that number that you took out, the GCF, in front, which happens to be 5. All right, let's go ahead and try another one. So this time we'll look at 3x cubed minus 6x squared minus 45x. Okay. So looking at all three numbers, or all three factors, we know that 3 can go into all of them. But I also see something different this time. Our first term is normally x squared. This time it's x cubed. Our last term is normally a constant. This time it has an x. So we could actually take out an x from all of them. All right, so to come up what's left, we say 3x times what will give us x cubed? That would be x squared. 3x times what would give us negative 6x squared? That would be negative 2x. And 3x times what would give us negative 45x? That would be negative 15. Okay, next step is you create a box. Okay, and then we know that x squared goes in the first box. Negative 15 goes in the last box. You make your x. So the top would be negative 15x squared, and then the bottom would be negative 2x because it's your middle number. So I need two numbers that multiply to negative 15x squared but add to negative 2x. Well, we know it must be 5 and 3, but if I do 5x and negative 3x, that gives me positive 2x. But if I do negative 5x and positive 3x, that would work. So you place those factors in the other boxes, and then we know the GCF is x there. x times x is x squared. x times negative 5 is negative 5x squared. x times 3 is 3x, and negative 5 times 3 is negative 15. So we write our factors, which are x minus 5, x plus 3, and then in front we are going to put 3x because that is what we took out. So I know if I multiply all these together, I would end up getting that original trinomial, which is 3x cubed minus 6x squared minus 45x. Okay, let's just try one more. And feel free to watch this again if you're still confused. 
Okay, this one's a little weird because it's a binomial and we're not, um, we don't have that middle term. So what we wanna do first always is look, is there anything I can take out? And in this case, there actually is. We could take out a two. So then I get x squared minus 25. Well, I can't leave it like that because I can probably factor it more. So this one's a little bit weird, but you put x squared in the first box because think of this as, I'm gonna rewrite this as x squared, we don't have anything for the middle term, and then we have negative 25. So we would put x squared here, negative 25 in the last box. We need two numbers that multiply to negative 25 x squared, but they have to add to 0x. So the only option is 5x and negative 5x. So those go in the boxes. The GCF of x squared and negative 5x is x. x times x is x squared. x times 5 is 5x. x times negative 5 is negative 5x. And 5 times negative 5 is negative 25. All right, so our final answer, we would write x plus 5, x minus 5. But don't forget that 2 that goes in the front that we have to write. Okay. That is it.